After the Gujarat carnage, I repeatedly asked my mother to remove her nameplate. She refused. She said, it is my house. I have nothing to be afraid of. Today, do I have the same trust? I really don't know. My paternal grandmother, Begamani Skridvai, or Apa as I called her, begins her memoirs in the shadow of freedom with the greatest tragedy of her life, the murder of her husband in Masuri on the 7th of October, 1947. Where people were killed, کسی پر ظلم نہیں کیا کسی کو تباہ نہیں کیا خدا اور اس کی مخلوق کا جو مطالبہ تھا اسے پورا کیا انسان کا جو مطالبہ تھا وہ ادا کیا As a child I remember the hush around my grandfather's death Papa always referred to his killers as ruffians इतना बड़ी जब ट्रेजिडी जिंदगी में हो जाए तो दूसरी कम्युनिटी के लिए जितने अपने आप आप को समझाओ एक किस्म का यू नो थोड़ा ख्याल तो पैदा ही हो जाता है ये तो मैं कहूँगी कि आपा की बड़ाई थी कि उन्होंने इस सब्जेक्ट पे कभी आने ही नहीं दिया फिर जब तुम लोग बड़े होते गए तो हमने भी यही सोचा कि तुम्हें खुद बड़े हो जाओगे थोड़ी समझ आ जाएगी थोड़े बैलेंस तुम में रहेगा कि तुम सच और झूठ को समझ पाओ लिहाजा यही कह के हम लोग सब यही जिक्र करते रहे कि ये बलवाई आई थी ये लड़का माय मदर्स रिप्लाई रेजेस मोर क्वेश्चंस देन इट आंसर्स हु किल्ड शफी अहमद कदवाई एंड व्हाई माय क्वेस्ट बिगिंस इन देहरादून एंड मसूरी द थ्रॉब ऑफ माल रोड हैज द वाइब्रेंसी ऑफ द प्रेजेंट बट ऑन कैमलबैक रोड द पास्ट सीम्स टू अनरैवल Many stories surround my grandfather's death. Stories not told by Appa. Suna yehi hai ki koi particular community ke the, which I won't like to name, ki chhe saath jane pahari ke upar se bhag ke niche aaye, aur jis us raaste mein jahan pe Shafi Chacha akele the. उन्होंने उनको वहाँ पे उनके हाथ में छुरे थे और उससे उनको खत्म कर दिया और नीचे खट की तरफ भाग गए। एक टैंक रिजर्व टैंक बनाया गया था ऊंची पहाड़ी के ऊपर तो उसमें कुछ लोग गलत काम किया था उसकी इंक्वायरी के लिए गए थे तो उसने एक साहब को सस्पेंड कर दिया था और दूसरे के लिए आर्डर हो चुका था और वो आर्डर दूसरे दिन सुबह लेकर के जा रहे थे दफ्तर चपरासी पीछे था उनके तब ये पुलिस चौकी के पास ये वाक हुआ है दो आदमी एक साइड से निकले और एक आदमी एक साइड से निकला तो एक ने वार ये किया और दूसरा ये वार हुआ तीसरा ये पैर के वार हुआ उससे इस बार खत्म हो गया उसी जगह और पुलिस चौकी सामने उसे कर्फ्यू लग गया किदवाई साहब को जब प्रशासन ने कहा था कि आपकी जान खतरे में आप सुरक्षा ले लीजिए किदवाई साहब ने कहा था कि मैं तो जनता का सेवक हूं और जनता मेरी जनता मुझे थोड़ा ना मारेगी तो उस जमाने के अंदर किदवाई साहब अकेले अपने घोड़े के ऊपर जो है सिटी बोर्ड से ये कार्यालय से देवदार वाली कोठी जो चाल में करीबन छह सात किलोमीटर की दूरी पर थे तो अकेले घोड़े पर जा रहे थे उनके साथ उनका चपड़ा सी था जिस समय उनकी हत्या हुई
लेकिन मेरे रिसर्च ये कहता है कि वो सांप्रदायिकता की आड़ में की गई एक हत्या थी वो हत्या कुछ निहित स्वार्थी तत्वों ने की थी जिनके खिलाफ कि भाई साहब एक ईमानदार प्रशासक के रूप में काम कर रहे थे उस जमाने के तो उन्होंने जो काम किया उस जमाने के अंदर रिकॉर्ड ये कहते हैं कि उन्होंने सफाई व्यवस्था को चुस्त दुरुस्त किया और जो उन्नीस के के दौर के अंदर जब अराजकता थी पूरे समाज के अंदर जो उस समय लोग जो है प्रॉपर्टियों में कब्जा कर रहे थे सरकारी जमीन पर उस कब्जे को रोकने के खिलाफ उन्होंने मुहिम छोड़ी किदवई साहब ने और उस जमाने के अंदर जब यह मुहिम शुरू हुई तो कुछ निहत स्वार्थी तत्वों ने मिलकर सांप्रदायिकता के नाम पर जो मजहबी फसाद थे उसके नाम पर उनकी हत्या कर दी और हत्यारे फिर कभी नहीं पकड़े गए आई रिटर्न फ्रॉम मसूरी ट्रबल्ड एंड कन्फ्यूज अनसर्टन अबाउट आपस रिकनसिलियेशन विद हजबेंड कातिल को पकड़वा कर मैं क्यों इसकी औरत को बेवा करूं क्यों इसके बच्चों की यतीमी का बायस बनूं शायद इसकी माँ हो तो इसके तड़पने का सामान मेरे हाथ हो क्यों हो खुदा ही पर क्यों न छोड़ दूं वो तो सबको जजा और सजा देने वाला है ये फैसला उसी को क्यों न सौंप दूं Today 50 years later why is it that i relate more to apa's loss than to the peace she made with history why do i feel that we live in the shadows of our freedom my grandmother my mother and i share a family a history I was born on a cold wintry day in January. I had a middle class childhood, a large family, fun and games with the usual financial anxieties. My convent education made me self righteous. My college years threw open the doors to the real world. Life was fun and religion was just one part of it. I grew up in Delhi but my family belonged to a small village near Lucknow called Masoli named after the Sufi saint Mastwali it is the home of my ancestors The dilapidated old house brings a rush of childhood memories of many happy summers spent here This was the home of my grandparents. It is this house and zamindari that they gave up to join the freedom movement. In the courtyard of this house, the fire of Swadeshi raged in the 1920s. Into this fire, Apa cast off the shackles of tradition and named her child Azadi. When Delhi was consumed by the violence of India's independence, Apa came back to Masoli to build the women's service home for destitute women. The corridors of this home stand witness to many tragedies of 1947. Ye darindagi, vahshat, badmashi aur zana ki hasratein jo is daur mein puri hui, kahin wo sadi bhar se to dimagon mein parvarish nahi pa rahi thi. ये जरासीम आज के तो न थे पता नहीं कब से खून में रच रहे थे कमजोर पाते ही बीमारी फूट पड़ी बड़े बड़ों का दामन भी तर किए बगैर न रह सका ये हरामी बच्चे जिन पर जिंदगी भर के लिए शर्म का बोझ लाद दिया गया है ये 11-12 साल की कुंवारी लड़कियां जो मुजस्म जिनसी तलब बनकर रह गई हैं ये पागल फटी हुई आंखों वाली दोषी जाए जो मुजस्म फरियाद है जब तक जिंदा रहेंगी इस मनहूस दौर को याद करती रहेंगी माई मदर लीडिंग एन ऑर्डनरी लाइफ बट लिविंग थ्रू एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी टाइम्स एक मुसलमान बुढ़िया she's called by many people in the colony i'm affronted by the use of musliman my mother is equally affronted by the term budhya
My mother loves gardening. She has a beautiful garden. One day a handful of men, all neighbors, destroyed her garden. They said that it should be made into a children's park. The gardens of our neighbors remained untouched. My mother has lived in Tara for over two decades. We are one of the three Muslim families in 160 flats. They came, they messed up my garden, broke some gamlas here and there, pulled up some trees and everything. And they thought, Ki, being an old woman living alone, I wouldn't retaliate. Well, I did. I went to Human, Human Rights Commission. Then somehow me and my friends arranged that all the ladies of the colony should go and sign in the office that this cannot be to a, done to a person who, to any person in the house. Every individual has a right to live the way they want to live. More than fear, Sabina, I felt very humiliated. But then seeing the reaction, it took me some time to get out of it. But then seeing the way the old members came to my rescue, somehow I felt as if my dignity has been restored. Did you feel that this had any kind of a communal uh, turn to it? Well, my friends did suggest it. But I have always fought this, against this feeling, against this feeling that, that whatever is wrong is done is, has a communal angle. So I just did not take it, did not even think about it in those times. I am often told that I don't behave like a Muslim. But my mother? What makes her Muslim? That she prays sometimes? My mother doesn't wear the burqa. She never has. My mother does not practice sacrifice. Animals have always been part of the family. Zakat me zarur deti hu. Zakat zarur karti hu. Zarur deti hu. Khuda ki ibadat karti hu. Magar sacrifice meri samaj me nahi aata. Mujhe janwaro se itna sab pyar hai ki ye baat meri Allah miya ki samaj me nahi. حالانکہ وہ سارا حضرت ابراہیم کا قصہ بھی مجھے پتا ہے کہ خدا کی راہ میں قربان ہو جاؤ مگر میں خود شاید قربان ہو جاؤں کسی جانور کو قربان کرنے کا میری سمجھ میں نہیں آتا اس لیے میں نے کبھی نہیں کیا سوائے ایک بار کے جبکہ تمہارے ڈیڈی بہت بھی مار تھے اور میرا دل اندر سے کہتا تھا کہ شاید یہ نہ بچیں صرف ایک بار سب کے کہنے سے وہ بھی تم لوگوں سے چھپا کے کیونکہ تم لوگوں کو میں جانتی تھی جانوروں سے اتنا پیار ہے میں نے ان کے نام سے فدیہ کروایا تھا کیا اثر ہوا بیٹا ان کو جانا تھا چلے گئے But in the eyes of many, my mother and I, we carry a Muslim name. We are Muslims only. Like my mother, I live my life with many identities. The 80s made me a part of the women's movement. The birth of Media Storm, a collective of women filmmakers, taught me ways of seeing 
and I learned to create a family beyond the home. Media Storm identified with the struggle for the rights of women and I began to question religion. The turbulence was not only in the world outside, it seemed to touch my personal life in a different way. In 1989, I was married and divorced. It seemed that my religion had failed to protect me and I asked, is this all that my religion has to offer its women? Then in 1990, trouble broke out in my university, Jamia Milia Islamia, against Rushdie's novel, The Satanic Verses. Once again, I discovered, along with my friends, that some of us belonged nowhere, neither to Hindus nor Muslims. On the 6th of December, 1992, as I watched the demolition of the Babri Masjid, I also saw India changing. I saw the emergence of the Hindutva forces. In the decade that followed, the ideologies and images around me defined identities and I became a part of the other. A new identity joined my various other selves, that of a Muslim woman, an identity I found difficult to accept and hard to discard. The Islam that emerged was very different from that of Apa and my mother. Religion to admi khudi banata hai. Jis mazhab mein paida ho, wo to farak chiz hai. Magar ye ki apna mazhab to insan khudi banata hai. Apne hi chand parameters reh ke apna mazhab bana leta hai. Uske alawa mere hamesha apa ke alfaz ye dimag mein ghumte hai ki admiyat Islam hai. Admiyat ain Islam hai aur Islam ain insan. ان دنوں حالات نے ایسی نازک صورت اختیار کر لی تھی کہ غیر جانبداری انصاف اور انسانیت کا دامن پکڑے رہنا بعض وقت مشکل ہو جاتا تھا خود مجھ پر بھی بیشتر لمحات ایسے گزرے ہیں جب میں نے اپنے کو کٹر متاثر مسلمان محسوس کیا ہے لیکن اس پر تو مجھے ہمیشہ یقین رہا ہے کہ آدمیت این اسلام ہے اور اسلام این انسانیت اگر انسانیت کا رشتہ چھوٹا تو پھر مجھے خود بھی اس دلدل میں اترنا پڑے گا جہاں اور بہت سے لوگ کلچر میں ڈکھیاں لگا رہے ہیں اس وقت میں لرز کر پکار اٹھتی تھی کہ الہی مجھے اس ذلت سے بچانا For the world, my grandmother was Apaji, a writer, a winner of the Sahitya Academy Award, a Rajya Sabha member. My memories of Apa are also connected with our childhood home, which was 16 Windsor Place. Most of all, I remember as a little boy was was these very interesting women that used to come in when all and all driven in their own exotic cars. That's one of my earliest memories. There was Mirdula Sarabai in her green study, Beka, blunt haircut, salwar kameez, tied out in a particular fashion and striding into the house. There was this exquisite lady, Saida Raza, driving this marvelous little car called Mayflower, she, was what, she used to come in and she was, she later became my friend also. And um, again, she used to be in All India Radio, so there was this very delightful way of speaking. And um, there was Begum Bhopal in her white con Jag convertible. Now I look back and I wonder as to what they had in common. But they had this thing in common. I think it was Apa who was um, who was sort of who took out the best of in everybody and just 
everything else was secondary and she could see the goodness in people and the, the qualities in people and she used to accept them. She was very traditional herself, she was very religious, but her religion and her beliefs, she did not let that color her, her views about anything. Initially, I used to think that her wearing white was because she was a widow. But with time, I realized that there was more to it. Because she had a political background, she was a nationalist and a Gandhian. So, Khadi was what she wore and Khadi was white. She had no problem about, I think, color because her jutis did have, were not necessarily of a very, only brown. She would not mind if there was a little bit of zari on it. She decided that she is going to arrange a marriage for my sister to an unfortunate man who had a hair like a jhadu and was immediately named by, nicknamed by the children of the family as jhadu. This, so, and she gave jhadu permission to court, court my elder sister Sonia. This entailed that jhadu would enter from the front door, Sonia would leave from the back door and Apa and jhadu would sit and glare at each other in silence with Apa occasionally making noises of approval at Jharu because Jharu didn't speak. It never even crossed our mind that grandparently disapproval or approval would ever, you know, entail that Sonia would be forced to like this man. Apa liked him. Apa liked sitting with him every weekend, Jharu and Apa in glorious silence. But Sonia said no and there was no scene. Apa defined religion to the family, but religion did not determine boundaries. Eid celebrations in my family have always been boisterous, with plenty of food and fun. Yes, <laughs> 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 ताही काली वो एक टिपिकल जो एक नक्शा होता है वो होगा बट ही इज देयर बट ही इज इंस्पेक्टिंग अ मैन होल आयशा आल अमीर अदाप्टेड ओले अरे बीबी ओपो कहां बीबी के पास पहुंचे कैसे ए कितनी दूर इन 1955 आपन डॉटर किशोर शी ब्रॉट मी टू दिल्ली I was undergoing a lot of uh, emotional uh, tension and problems. So Kishwar came to receive me at the station and while on the way she said, she said, Prema, you are going to a very ajeeb, you are going to a very ajeeb and ajeeb house, you are going to a very ajeeb house, you are going to a very ajeeb house. Well, I didn't understand what she meant by it. And I reached Apa's house and 
Lo and behold, what Kishwa said was very correct because there were so many people, so many people living in that house. It was almost like a colony. It couldn't be more than a fortnight that I forgot that I was a stranger to this house, or that I was an outsider. It was a very, it was a very all-embracing family. I did, I must, they just took me in, and I became one of, part of that family. Though I, my name was Prima Mandi, I remember some of the guests who used to, who used to come to that house. They said, "Arey, ko Prima kis vai kaha hai?" <laughs> so Kishore used to laugh. Can I, Arey, Prima, dey flo, naami nahi badla, mazam ki badal gaya hai. <laughs> and we used to have a hearty laugh. Who was Shafi Ahmed Kidwai? I search for his photograph but find none. I find only a pen tainted by blood, a memory of a violent death. And in the graveyard a grave born in 1947. I as a little boy used to go with her to Dehradun every 7th of October we'd go at night take the night train reach there the next morning first thing we used to do is to we used to go to the qabristan and apa used to pray but never once did she ever talk about anything that happened there we didn't even Go to any place where she had stayed, and they stayed in their room for many, many, many years. It was as if we all knew it existed, but that was a closed chapter. She never talked about. My grandparents' silent past waits for me in Masuri. I return to see the house they lived in, the trees my grandfather planted. But once again, I find no photographs. Surprising, for he was the administrator of Masuri. The municipal record room further intensifies for me the intrigue. Okay. Now I'll go further. Okay. Oh, there's a signature here. Twenty-nine eight forty-seven. Ah. But जो मैं ये देखिए forty-seven का है, मगर एक ना इनके साथ विद्यासागर का टर्मिनेशन हुआ था इनके अंडर एक इंजीनियर थे म्यूनिसिपल इंजीनियर थे तो वो टर्मिनेशन का या इनकी हत्या हुई थी उसका कोई रिकॉर्ड है मैडम बहुत पुरानी बात है और ये दोनों के दोनों अधिकारी जो हैं सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के एम्प्लाइज थे उस समय हैं सेंट्रल स was my grandfather killed because he was an honest administrator because he was a muslim or because he was a nationalist will it ever be possible to know or are we destined to find our answers between the words and silences of apa खतरे से भागना मुखालिफत से पीछे हटना 
جان مال یا کسی نقصان کے ڈر سے ضمیر کے خلاف قدم پیچھے ہٹانا ان کی فطرت کے خلاف تھا وہ سمجھتے تھے کہ ہندوستان ان کا گھر ہے ان کا ملک ہے ان کی جنم بھومی ہے جو کچھ ہو رہا ہے یہ دشمنی ہے دوستی نہیں اور ملک کی بربادی ان کی اپنی بربادی ہے Two decades have passed since Appa died, but she continues to live with us in Tara. Three generations of women, Appa, my mother and myself. Three generations of Indian independence. Appa's hopes for the nations were not without fears. Today, Her fears seem to have become our reality. Isi ummeed pe chalte rahe ke aaj nahi kal to logon naya generation aayega jo jiske nazdeek yani ye lafz Hindu Musliman Sikh Isai sab exist karenge magar sabke nazdeek jo basic insaniyat hai wo phir se wapas aa jayegi wo to wapas nahi aayi اور ہم اسی امید پہ رہے بقول شاعر کے کہ اب بھی کھاؤں گا اسی طرح محبت کا فریب یہ نہ کہہ دے کوئی امید کو کاندھا نہ دیا چلتے رہے آتا ہے گجرات گجرات نے تو جیسے بالکل سبینہ ہلا کے رکھ دیا اس لیے کہ اس میں تو لگتا ہے یہ نیا جنریشن ہے پچاس سال کے بعد کا جنریشن ہے جس کے نزدیک ایک مسلمان عورت کی ڈیفینیشن ہی بالکل فرق ہے نہ وہ ماں ہوتی ہے نہ وہ ماں ہوتی ہے نہ وہ نانی ہوتی ہے نہ وہ دادی ہوتی نہ بیوی ہوتی نہ کسی کی لڑکی ہوتی اس کا صرف ایک آبجیکٹ ہے اور وہ بھی یہ جنریشن یہ جنریشن جو کی پچاس سال کے بعد آتا ہے جو تاریخ جس کی پچھلی تاریخ بھی پڑھ چکا اس کے بعد اب کیا امید رہ جائے Today, the choices seem more limited for the children in my family. A Muslim identity not only defines them, but also confuses their small world. When we are studying history in our class, so we are studying about the Mughals. So they came to conquer India. So my friends turn around and say that your, uh, your, uh, that was the then the Mughal when when the Mughals came. Now you're. You, you, you are Muslim and you have come from Pakistan to destroy India. You are a terrorist. I, I feel I am just an Indian. And I am I'm, I'm like normal people. Even though uh, my religion is different, but I do not feel that I am different from anyone. Because just because I, uh, just because I, uh, the many things that I should know Urdu. I know Urdu. Some is Urdu is another language, but only Muslims know. It doesn't mean that. No, that's not true. That's not true. Many, or, or most of the people, most of Hindus also know uh, Urdu. I don't know, but I don't. I think that I'm an I'm an Indian and I'm normal. I'm not different from anyone else. Yes. I think. Appa ends her memoirs with great faith in the new generation. My mother has faith in some of us in my generation. Appa and my mother believed that their religion gave them the freedom to be secular. Today, my secularism seems defined by my religious identity. How did my mother and grandmother transcend their fears? How is it that after being born under the shadow of freedom, I am unable to do so? The past seems to have returned to haunt my present and my future.
perhaps, or perhaps not, the shadows will get longer and darker.